Hi, this is Glenn White with Eurosafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the suspension bars that you would find on the AS350, the EC130, and the AS355 models of helicopters. Now, first of all, these suspension bars lift the entire helicopter, and what they do is they are attached at the four corners of our rigid box structure here. Um, sometimes people call it a hexahedron. There's no such thing as the hexahedron means square or, or cube, so it makes it sound fancy, but it's a rigid box structure is what this is. And on pre-flight, we want to make sure there's no damage on these bars whatsoever. Uh, when you see a zip tie, you should see some anti-chafing tape between the zip tie and um, the bar. And if there's any lines that are close to it, you want to make sure they're not chafing. If any kind of wear or damage goes into the metal of the bar, the bar is no longer airworthy and we need to put a new one on the helicopter. So on pre-flight, we want to take a real good look at these from top to bottom, make sure that nothing's rubbing on them, make sure there's no tooling marks that have been created on these uh, bars. And on the top and the bottom of each one of the bars, you should see a diaper pin. Uh, make sure those are there through the castellated nut. I hope this answers any questions you have about the suspension bars on the AS350, EC130, and AS355 models of helicopters. And we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.